I am originally from Kentucky. I'm uh, active duty Army, but this is my, my full-time job, is doing this right here. I had no horse experience. Everything that I know in here, I've learned in the past two years. I get to know the personalities of all my horses. I know how each one of them is gonna react in here. She's definitely one of our easier horses. Uh, we do have some that will physically take their foot away from you. You, you just kind of try to work with them. These shoes weren't fitting her properly anymore. So I went ahead and made some new ones. So right here, we've got her sole. That's the sole of her foot. Along the outside is her hoof wall. And that would be the equivalent of your fingernail. So at this point, I've got her all cleaned out pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my nippers. They're just really big fingernail clippers and I'm gonna take this hoof wall off. Just like we have to clip our fingernails, we have to clip theirs as well. If they didn't have shoes on, the, the terrain that she was on would naturally wear it down. There's a, a line that separates the hoof wall from the sole. That is her, that's what's called the white line. Um, that is what separates the sensitive stuff from the insensitive stuff. You saw me clipping in a very specific spot. I don't want to go any lower than that. Come on, baby. The goal is to have a nice, flat, level foot and a nice, flat, level shoe. Because the flatter everything is, the better it fits together, the tighter it's gonna stay. All of our shoes are store-bought, flat, just like that. And I'll reshape them. And then we'll put these studs on here. They're borium. It's a tungsten composite. And it's a lot stronger than this steel, so it makes it last about 18 to 24 weeks. It, it's, it's really not a whole long time, but when you think about this steel on that asphalt all day long, it just wears it away. I'm setting this shoe right here. I want to make sure that it's nice and balanced on her foot. You know, like whenever you're wearing a flip-flop and it turns around on you, it gets uncomfortable and it starts rubbing. Well, it's the same way with them. It really affects the way that they walk if the shoe is not on there correctly. These are my set nails to make sure that the shoe is setting in the right spot. So, I make sure that, that shoe is on there right. As the nail comes up the wall, it'll shoot itself out. Uh, it should. And I fold them over. The original two that I drove in, to make sure that the shoe was setting in the right spot, they just stayed inside that hoof wall. Uh, you can see right here, the rest of these nails came out and I folded them over. And uh, I want them to come out so that I can come back and I'll cut those ends off. And then I'll clench them down real tight. That's what's going to hold that shoe onto the hoof wall. And that is, uh, is the finished product. It's, uh, it's a shoe on the foot.